Deck six, Fiesta. Forever. Love you, Stanley. Bye bye. We have just gotten off the ship in Piraeus, which is south of Athens. We came off the ship with twice as much luggage as we came on with. Strange how that happens. Now we are waiting for our friend Monica to pick us up. And then I say that that old saying about how you get on a cruise as a passenger and leave his cargo, definitely. Definitely true in Barry's I, case. I ain't waiting too much last night. And I just keep doing it. I, I did my best to only eat half my plate, no matter how many plates they gave me. Hey, honey. Hey, honey. Some sites. Oh, oh, oh scared cat. Oh. He's a scared cat. And all we have is hey, Morris. Hey, Morris. Hey, Morris. By the plane around Capitals, Doric. Then we have this one, which is called Ion. Again, it's very easy to recognize it for the, from the capitals because of the two spiral ends. The third order is the Corinthian order. And the one that you see over there, uh, that's a capital, but the column is missing, so they uh, put it over there so that we can see. Uh, the Corinthian style was created by an Athenian sculptor, but it was very expensive to order something like that for the col columns of the whole building. That's why most of the Greeks couldn't afford to order this. But Corinthians, that used to be the richest people of the city, they could afford to order this style, and that's why it uh, ended up uh, being called not only Ideals was self-control in all aspects of life. That meant that it was an accept. <laughs> we get to start all over. Oh, let's get started. The candies, when we have a soft roll, oh, yeah. the menthol is coming from. Or the leaves, they put them into a pot, they boil them and they cover the thing. Oh, that used to be the signs of the Jewish communities worldwide. This is the fragment that I'm talking about. 
It's not in exhibition at the museum over here, but at the Hebrew Museum of Athens. It was uh, unearthed on the back right corner of the building. Uh, so that's how we know that over here was the synagogue of Athens during the third century. But now you might think, okay, why should I care where was the synagogue of Athens during the third century when Paul visited Athens during the first century? Guys, because of a custom that Hebrews had and still follow to our days. What is that custom? Uh, that when they buy a piece of ground and they build a synagogue, they don't uh, leave the ground after the synagogue is dilapidated. What they do? If it is dilapidated, they, de they demolish it and build a new one at the exactly same spot. So when you visit Israel, first let's say that you go to Galilee, they will show you the remainings of a synagogue in Galilee and they will say to you, this is where Jesus read that piece of uh, Isaiah, for example. This is just the building that they kept the records in. But it's still standing, so but it's, it's cool. It's still standing. Guys, would you like to come closer? Yeah. Sure. I would yes, like yes, yes. To, to discuss a little bit about this monument over here. That's the best preserved temple that we have in the area of Athens. It is uh, the temple of Ephesus. Ephesus was the god of metal work, metal work and craftsmanship. Okay. He was co worshipped in this building with Athena, the patroness goddess of the city, but over here in her appearance as protectress of the potters, weavers, and ceramists. Why they would build a temple over here? Because all these professionals that I mentioned earlier, they used to bomb explosion on them or uh, snag nails, rag nails on the walls. Uh, but still, the building is here. And Greece is one of the countries that they have the most earthquakes on the planet. Mm -hmm. It's on the fifth place. Uh, but still, yeah. The temples are standing. I just saw that's the arrow. No, no, that's no, on the right hand side. Right hand side. Yeah, yeah. that's the arrow. It's right here. And then the Parthenon is to the left. The, the bigger building. Yeah. Okay, the one that has the all the scaffolding around it. Yeah. That's it. Altar of Zeus. And the sisters for the tour mm -hmm. online. Mm -hmm. Yes, and if we want. It's not a library, an audience, mm -hmm. always somewhere in that building, adjoined to that building or nearby, there is a
I lost him. Is the stadium over there? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Nice. When we get down from the Acropolis, you will let me know if you can walk the distance, how you will feel. Okay. Because I don't want you to end up, you know, at your hotel. I will. It's okay. Yeah, <laughs> then tomorrow you have to wake up very early. Yes, I do. One o'clock to leave. It'll be okay. But three in the morning we need to get up. I think or... you need to leave two, two to be around three at the yeah. airport. That's why I'm thinking. If you can't do the walking, I don't mind. If you can, that's where our tour ends. So that's Piraeus over there? Yeah. That's where that's we cool. got off the ship. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. The Louvre, and they had a sculpture called Winged Victory. Was that Nike? Yes, uh, that's the Nike from the Greek island of Samothraki. Okay. At the entrance, when you go up the stairs to the right, yeah. the very impressive, mm -hmm. yeah, that's, the that's one. Nike. Okay. I just thought that was the most beautiful. Yeah, I don't think that was enough room to have all the stuff on there that they said was up there. There's not a lot of room up there at all. <laughs> so, let's visit. Hey, Maverick! He looks just like our cat. Mavi! Come here, Maverick! Oh, he looks just like oh you do look like Mavi. Oh, just like just boy. beautiful in the face, yes. Well, that's because we shaved our Mavi. Uh -huh. What a good boy. Oh, and that's why the stadium is uh, the stadium of the theater is called the Theater of Dionysius. Wow. Wow. The world's first theater. And I'm standing on the stage. The doors, uh, the prices of the costumes, the shoes, anything that had to do with this. <laughs> I know. 
Are you okay, baby? Yeah, you're okay. You remind me of my Tenzin. There you are. It's so funny. one hour earlier than in Athens. Please stow your hand baggage in the overhead bins or up to the seat in front of you. Fasten your seatbelt, adjust the back of your seat to the upright position and disconnect your electronic device from the onboard power supply and stow your tray table. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell to join us for the next episode.